Kimberly. And I'm Jocelyn. We're at Fat Quarter Shop. And it's so Emma. And we're here today to talk about the Decade, decade Bill Hall's Quilt, quilt along. along. Ten, ten fabrics, fabrics, ten, ten blocks, blocks, ten years. So today we're working on download number eight, and it's the Trim the Tree block. Mm -hmm. So Jocelyn, tell me about your Trim the Tree blocks that you designed. Um, I love these little blocks. I love how they go up in width, these strips up here, to this nice chunky little strip down here. Um, and it's really simple to assemble, but it gives you such a nice effect of a nice full tree. Um, the little pop of red again is the, is the trunk of the tree, um, so it gives you that nice contrast. Uh, in our sample, I love the way it's quilted too, where it really accents the diagonal of these pieces. So that is it. That's a pretty simple block. Um, again, I want to say we love what you're, what you're adding to our Flickr page. Um, we love what you're doing with these blocks. We're seeing brights, we're seeing pastels, we're seeing Christmas colors. It's all great. So thank you and keep adding. Yeah, and we still have a few kits left, so if you haven't got your kit, it's not too late to join. This is a very simple beginner quilt and we have full color instructions. Make sure you download the instructions on our website. And today, we're gonna to use a new technique that we have not gone over in these videos, and I'm very excited about it. What it is, is we're gonna layer three rectangles to get this effect. And so you don't have any, um, you don't have any cut lines, so it's a very fluid um, block. So let's get to sewing. Okay, so today we're gonna to talk about the notions that we use. So I always use the row marking safety pins. We label, label all of our fabrics A through Z. So um, it's great if you cut, and as you cut, you put your row marking pin. Um, it just makes it really easy to find your stuff. We also use a purple marking pin. We use a Collin seam ripper, an ultra rotary cutter, and I like flat pins and a grab it. And I love to use my pink bucket that you know, I throw my scraps in, so at the end of the project you can just dump it, or you can save it for your little um, half square triangle snips to make another quilt. And today we're going to introduce an omni grip small six and a half inch square ruler. So let's get to our first step. This is a new technique we have not discussed. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our fabric H rectangle. We're going to lay it wrong side up and right side down and you're going to measure two and a half inches up from the corner. And you're just going to put a big dot. And then you're going to draw a line from the dot to the corner. And that is going to be your sewing line. And the reason we're doing this is so you don't have to chop a bunch of cut up things together. We're going to take a fabric C rectangle layer it and we're going to put this rectangle the opposite way and we're going to pin. We always pin before we go to the sewing machine. So now we're going to just sew on the line. We're, I put my grab it with my pins on the base of my sewing machine so that when I'm done, throw them on there. When I'm sewing I'm using a 2.0 stitch length. I'm going to just cut approximately a quarter inch from the edge, it doesn't have to be exact. And we're going to go press this open. So now we're going to show how we iron this piece and you're going to use this method when you complete the rest of the trees. The first thing you're going to do is set your seam. Just set the iron on it and let it sit. I use steam and I press open. Now this purple marker, when you iron on it, it does set it. Um, I can't see it through the front and I always um, iron on it, it doesn't bother me. Um, but if, you, if it does bother you, you should, to get it to go away, what you use is water so you can um, just spray a little water on it and it will disappear before you iron because once you iron it does set the seam. So we are going to go and layer our next piece. We're going to do something very similar to the next rectangle as we did with the first. But this time we're gonna take a fabric C rectangle from our stack. We are gonna put right sides down, wrong sides up. We are going to, again, measure two and a half inches from the top, mark a dot. We are going to connect the dot to the corner and draw a line. Then we are going to place this this direction 
and we're again going to sew and bring it out and then you're going to have your very top of your tree. So we will be right back. So now we've done the very top row of our tree and you can see there's no cut lines. It's a very clean finish. Now we're going to go and do the middle row. So we are going to take our fabric G rectangle, put it right sides down, and this time we're going to do a three inch dot. So from the very bottom we're going to make a dot three inches up, and we are going to draw a line to the corner. We are going to take that and connect it to a fabric B rectangle. And your B is going to be right side up, and your G is going to be right sides down. And again, we're going to pin, I'm going to pin twice, and I'm going to sew this line and press open. So now we've got half of our middle unit done, and we're going to take another fabric B rectangle, right here, put it right sides down, and this time from the top, we're going to go three inches down. And when you're doing all of these steps, you want to really follow our color diagram so that you make sure that you're, you're putting the dot in the right spot and you're you know, putting your angle the right direction so your trees go the right way. And again, this is very simple. We are just going to sew on the line and our middle row will be done. So you can see this is a nice technique to get full pieces with no cuts. Um, very, very easy. So now you can see we've done our middle, middle row and it was super easy, and the bottom row is the easiest. It's probably something you've done before. We're going to take our fabric A squares, and on the wrong side of the fabric, we're going to draw a line from corner to corner. It's very similar to making a flying geese. We're going to take a fabric F rectangle, and we are just going to take these squares and pin them following our pattern closely. Both going to point in. And the same thing, we're just going to sew on the line, cut a quarter inch, set our seams, and press open, and the bottom will be done. So now we've done our bottom row, and that was super easy. And this next step, it's even easier. So we're going to take two fabric D rectangles and we're going to lay them on the table and we're going to take one fabric E rectangle and it's going to make the trunk of our tree. So the way that I like to do um, my, my pinning is I pin before I go to the machine. So I'm actually going to pin these two. Then I'm going to flip over and I'm going to pin this one down. And we're just going to use a quarter inch seam and sew on each side. So let's go sew. So we're just going to use our quarter inch foot. My quarter inch foot has a guide. And we're just going to sew on each side. Just take the pins out as you sew. And we're going to just take this to the iron and we're just going to press in towards the red so you don't see the seams and then we're going to sew our tree block together. So now we're to the end of the trim the tree block. We've sewn our four sections together. I've laid it out on the table and all we have to do is sew everything with a quarter inch seam. And what I'm going to do before I sew it, just as a tip, is lay it out on the table and then pin. So that way when you go to your sewing machine, you haven't forgotten where where to sew. So I'll sew this seam, I'll sew this seam, I'll iron, and then I'll sew that last seam together and our block will be done. Our block measures 10 and a half by 12 and a half and it's a very, very easy block. So we will be right back when we have our block together. So now we finished our tree with the tree block. It is so cute and we're going to make three. And the easiest part of this is there's no sashing or anything. You just sew the blocks together. You can put them in a different order. If you like the fabric in a different order, you can kind of make it your own style. Thanks so much for joining us today. I hope you love our new technique that we showed you on the Trim the Tree block. 
And if you have any questions, please email me at Kimberly at FatQuarterShop.com or you can comment below. Be sure to come back in two weeks for our Cozy Cocoa Cups block. Thank you. Thanks.